Can you start off by introducing yourself to our site because we're going to pop culture madness? I'm Jess Margera. Hola. Dave Bo. <laughs> Great. And you guys are playing here at Underground Arts in Philadelphia tonight. So what can we look forward to from the show tonight? The sound check sounded pretty good. So. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play uh, our whole new EP, right? Mm -hmm. we got five songs coming out um, on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, and we're going to Hit up just our whole catalog, which is just basically another EP in a full length. <laughs> so, do you guys have plans to release a full length like later down the line? I, I hope to. You know, it's it's always tough on everyone's schedules. You know? Everyone's you know always, especially Neil's on tour a lot, and uh, I tour kind of. You know, the rest of us tour quite a bit. Well, I was going to ask how you guys got things to come together. You guys like email parts of songs back and forth when people are on the road, or do you actually find some time to like meet up and go, all right, we're going to put this together now? That, that's kind of exactly how it happens. It's like <laughs> email, like, you know, like uh, Dave Bowen and Brad will jam out like some riffs and stuff, and then, uh, you know, they'll send it my way, and then every once in a blue everyone has a free schedule for like a week or two and then um like for this new one we flew out to la and met up with yeah. uh, brad and dave and jim and, and then uh basically what we just kind of jammed it out hashed it out in a room yeah for like a day or two yeah and uh and then uh we went to grandmaster in la and we're probably in there for three or four days doing drums and then you guys finished it up all the guitars and everything yeah, and we tracked the uh, my guitar, Brad's bass, and Jess's drums all live together. Yeah, it's like kind of the same room, staring at each other, which is, I think, the best way to capture like a hard rock vibe. Really good. Yeah. You just get feel, you know. You, yeah. You, there's definitely when you're playing it all at the same time, there's just a feel there that's not really necessarily there when you track it individually. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, I could see it being like a different, I'll use a corporate synergy word there, like when everyone's <laughs> like together, so <laughs> I can imagine the chemistry is different. So, I mean, you narrowed it down to five songs for the EP. Did you have more together? Was it hard to narrow that down? It was basically, you know, the amount of time that we had to jam it out in, in California is, is what got done, and it ended up being five songs. Everyone <laughs> yeah, kill screen, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Dave came up with a title for that. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> we all watched King of Kong on Netflix one day, and then it was just like, all right, we got to do something with this. <laughs> so, I mean, can you share a little bit with us about how the company band came together? I love how your uh, press release is kind of written like a corporate proposal. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I mean, basically, it, it, when, when the hell did we start jamming? 2006 or something? Yep. Yeah. And we we're all at my brother's wedding and then uh you know, we we're throwing demos back and forth because um Jim's band Fireball Ministry and, and my other band CKY, we, we did a lot of tours together and just ended up we were the two guys in the internet blessing Z Z Top, you know. And <laughs> just one drunken conversation, like, yo man, we gotta we gotta record something, man. Jim's like, well, my buddy Dave and I have a bunch of stuff we're kicking around, and within like a week of the tour ending, I already had like four or five songs oh, sent wow. to me, <laughs> and it was, it was awesome. We got right to work. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a challenge with everyone's schedules. Like I said, I mean, once it, once we all finally get together, it's pretty rad. It's a great time. Well, I'm sure it gives you guys each like a step away from like your other projects to kind of yeah. pursue some other interests oh. and genres and things like that. So how would you best classify the company band sound to a first time listener? I don't know, it's, it's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, <laughs> hard rock classic metal, I'd say. Yeah, it's pretty, it sits between like a 1978 and 1982 scope. <laughs> Anything outside of that is illegal. <laughs> so, I mean, this is a quick run of dates for you guys. Would you like to do a longer tour thing, or is there anything that could possibly be worked out for that? I would, I would love to do this as much as possible. Yeah, it's, it's such a fun thing to do, a very comfortable playing drums to, to the 
new songs. <laughs> we were just talking last night about trying to do some stuff in LA and maybe yeah, yeah. do some West Coast stuff because you know the last time we played was two shows four years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was it hard to get back in the swing of things live together? Did that just fall together now? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we started jamming and it's like. We all kind of looked at each other like, wow, it's been four years. <laughs> but, you know, after a day or two, it was passionate out. We fell right back into place. So, if you guys have a dream artist to share a stage with, you know, uh, <laughs> Easy, easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They still bring it, man. Yeah, how old they are, they still bring it. And you know, you know they're the type of dudes that when they're not bringing it, <laughs> it's so funny, I think somebody was just talking to me last night going, when was the last time ACDC toured? They really need to get back on the road again and do some things. Yeah. I'd be scared though, it's like, to tour with your dream artist, like you just go out and open and be like, I'm sorry everyone, we're just going to do this for 40 minutes and we'll be the fucking end. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a chance. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, obviously you guys have shared the stage with numerous artists, like just other bands, this, you know, is there any, everybody, anybody who's been completely starstruck to me? Uh, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, like, uh, <laughs> it, it's like, you just get up there and your nerves are just shot, but, I don't know, it was, it was cool, like, our, I was expecting the worst, you know, like, their crowds, I thought, would hate us, but it ended up working out pretty good. <laughs> Only got uh, a beer thrown at me. Two or three nights. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, as opposed to like a whole run of days, so that's right, right. good. <laughs> so if either of you were not pursuing music right now, what do you think that you'd be doing instead? I have no idea. <laughs> Before this, I, I, uh, I was a courier <laughs> for an airline. It, it wasn't a bad job. Like, you don't really have a boss here in your car all day listening to records, driving around. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the end of the world. I'd much rather be doing this. You said it was for the airline. Did you get the flight benefits too or no? No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but I would have to, I remember this one time, I, there's, there's like an area by my house where it's just all woods, dirt roads. I mean, it's, it's, it's in the sticks. And uh, I pull up, there's two log cabins on this like lake, it's called Marsh Creek, and uh, there's like six black Land Rovers parked in these two log cabins, and these Italian dudes with like Ferragamo suits, and they're at, I'll say it again, a log cabin in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what was going on in there. It's probably not that you did not I know. thought I was going to get whacked. Yeah. I, I was like, you're too lucky, sir. I'll be on my way now. Like, I didn't want to tip or anything. I was like, just please don't shoot me in the back of the head when I'm going to my car. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was, that was a pretty interesting day. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it being that we're a pop culture based website, we're immersed in pop culture all the time. Is there anything that you guys can't get enough of these days? Terrified to go to the movie theater, and that really sucks. 
But I think Christian Bale going to the hospital and seeing people and stuff is like a really good thing. Oh, he did so, that. Yeah, that was That's good. Pretty random. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And on that note. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what is the rest of the summer um, hold for you guys? I mean, we have these dates, and you know, is there anything else? Ah, to... uh, well, we're going to do these three and hope for more, you know, like Dave was saying, you know, hopefully do some West Coast stuff. Uh, maybe some festivals next year. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to try and do this as much as possible. You know? <laughs> Such a good time. We're even already talking about throwing together some new music, so probably in between now and the next time we play, yeah. there'll be some riff email, yeah. Yeah. some internet jams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Internet jams, yeah. So, I mean, do you guys feel personally, I mean, I know the music industry is going through a ton of changes, like constantly, it's almost fluctuating one way or the other. Do you feel the kind of keeping things like the way to go now, especially for rock bands. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I just I can't wait to see what happens. You know, it's just uh, in a state of purgatory right now. You know, I don't know what the hell's going on. And, yeah, I hope, I hope to develop some kind of industry that's not completely for the past like it is right now. <laughs> Exactly what we want to hear, what we love, you know, and um, I hope that that comes through. Uh, that's, uh, that's probably the most important for me. It feels real. It doesn't sound like Rock 3000, where Neil's like, you know, voice is pitch shifting, yeah. and, like Christina Aguilera. Or <laughs> she can say, but you know, just like the pop production, we try to yeah. keep it raw, powerful in every which way. We're being a little selfish in, in that we're just playing what we want to hear and if people like it, great. And if people don't like it, great. <laughs> and you know what, if it's what makes you happy, that's yeah. like what's, and that does carry forward to listeners that are listening because, I mean, everything else seems so cookie cutter and people are always looking for something unique and something to live yeah. outside with box, so. They're playing ACDs, they're There we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So what's the best way to keep up to date? I'm sure you guys are somewhat active on social media and all that. Yeah, we have the, uh, you know, all the usual Facebook. And the usual. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Twitter, right? Maybe. Think, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Facebook, really. Um, I don't know, it doesn't seem like official band sites mean anything. Yeah, that's yeah. not much anymore. It's usually that becomes the hub for all the social media links. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll be up to some shit. Yeah, that's really informative. <laughs> 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 I'm sure some shit's going to go down to Sunday. <laughs> Just keep checking every day, every single day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, we're it's definitely crazy. gonna do something. <laughs> it'll just slow shit, slow shit. It'll be just a tax <laughs> And they'll, they'll be months where I don't even talk to these guys, and then as soon as we start back up again, it's like nothing ever happened, no time passed. You know? I feel like that's the way in how we've been playing too, because when we got together to jam these <laughs> new batch of songs out, like, as soon as we went into it, I was like, damn, like, it sounds like we've been practicing, only that is not the case. <laughs> the last time we jammed was like, 08 or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. That's great. Well, we're looking forward to the show tonight. Definitely keep us posted as to what's going on. We're at our site for us to check out what's going on with you guys. And cool. definitely pick up the uh, new EP on the 31st. Cheers. Thank you guys. Any final nice. comments? <laughs> Party on, Wayne. <laughs> Party on, <girl. laughs>